Uh, this one hurt way more than the Grundy one. The Grundy one was we lost both our bets on this fight card. The Grundy one, he did what we thought he would do. He went for it. And that's all you could expect from a dog. You want that a dog money. You want them to go for it. And he went for it. And he almost got it. And if he would have gotten it, we would have been overjoyed. And at that kind of dog money, that was absolutely worth it. This one was a little bit frustrating to watch. Mainly because hearing the commentary, seeing how everyone was judging the fight. I mean, you knew it was going to be close. You absolutely knew it was going to be close. This was uh, Carlos Esparza versus Marina Rodriguez. We had money on Marina Rodriguez, who, in terms of damage, killed Carla Esparza. And we said that's what was going to happen. In terms of striking, she killed Carla Esparza, which we said she would. We said she would get taken down. Absolutely, that was going to happen. But in terms of like doing anything on the ground, Esparza was doing the absolute bare minimum that... If this was just the last fight card, if you go back to the last fight card, there was a few refs that were just like standing everybody up. This one would have got standed up. Stand that shit up. Ten times. There was a few times where she did advanced position and she did do enough pitter-patter shots to keep it going. But even, like in all seriousness, the most damage that was happening when she was on top was Rodriguez from the bottom with those elbows. She bloodied Carla up. And don't worry, I'm not, I'm not delusional. I'm not saying this was a one-way ass-kicking from Rodriguez on Esparza other than the fact that she was held down for a little bit. It wasn't that extreme. I'm not saying it was a robbery or anything like that. But, I mean, like, uh, MMA Decisions, a great website that breaks down both judges' scorecards that breaks down each one they gave as well as a bunch of media outlets. Media outlets were pretty much 50-50 on this one. It kind of just depends what you score. Um I will score ground. I absolutely do. Me and Mike love the ground game. We absolutely do. One, it leads to something. When you're on top, throwing shots, advancing for position, trying to get a submission. Like I saw a lot of people give like round one of uh, Grundy, uh, Evliev to Evliev. I'm like, how? There was a near submission that was the closest thing to a finish, and he wasn't just holding on top. He was advancing position and had the biggest moments of that round. Like, if you have a close submit, like, like the, a bogus submission that's not even close yet, yeah, I, I understand not counting that because the defense was great and everything like that, and the transitions, everything. I don't know. This one hurt more um, just because how we saw judging go on earlier in the night on how uh, wrestling went uh, versus how this one went. And I'm sorry, I don't think as far as it did just about any bit, any lick of damage. Uh, so uh, this was, a, they, even when they announced this split decision, I still thought it was going to go our way. It did not. Um, obviously, I've had other ones that hurt more in the past, but I do think that this could have gone to Rodriguez, even just simply off damage. And I know a damage isn't like a scoring criteria, but it usually comes from most significant strikes or just all around more shots, which I thought Rodriguez had for at least two of the three rounds. Uh, one of them was close. One was clear Rodriguez. It was one clear, one clear, and one could have gone either way. And I, I tended to go Rodriguez. Mike? The sad fight. Uh, man, this, uh, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because, uh, like you said, er- earlier in the night, we had a bet on Grundy. I'm, I'm okay to say I lost that fight. I lost mm-hmm. that fight because he didn't have enough striking, uh, which then led to damage, which then lost me the bout versus Evlyov. Okay. So that's why we lost there. Now we go to this bout. Th- this time, Asparza would be the Grundy of mm-hmm. this example. Asparza takes her down and does absolutely no damage, nothing, doesn't si- pass for side control, doesn't go to full mount ever really, doesn't get to a submission, doesn't really threaten at all, doesn't lay any damage at all. Marina Rog- Rodriguez damaged her face, broke her orbital socket, I believe. I mean, she couldn't even see out of one eye. I, I don't understand how you can say that Carla Esparza won that fight, but Grundy lost his fight. Um... I don't get it. It's crazy. But uh, it, it definitely was a closer fight than I wanted to be. It was because of those stupid takedowns that led us to less time to damage Asparza's face. But those judges are blind, man. Asparza's taking her down and holding her down because she's praying to God that she doesn't let her up to, so she smashes on her. So uh, it definitely hurt, man. This whole card, man, it was a, a parlay buster. I don't think there was a parlay to be had on this card. It's, you know, when people thought that shit was going to cash, it did not cash. 
uh, you know, there was a lot of great betters who were on the same side as us, and we both ate shit together. So I don't want to eat shit together, but we did. If you like this clip, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you. Let's roll.